Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Wednesday, May 4th, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Pat Cunningham. And I'm Leo Carl. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> the WHS Theater Guild event Mayhem will be held this Saturday, May 7th at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. There will be a variety of performances such as singers, musicians, and comedy. All prom table requests must be made in person during the homeroom in room 154 before Friday. After Friday, tables will be formed randomly. There will be a mandatory meeting tonight at 5.30 in Cafeteria B for anyone interested in trying out for the varsity and JV cheerleading teams. All athletes and a parent or guardian should attend. Any questions, reach out to Ms. Scott and Ms. Altieri. The No Place Parade Committee will hold its next meeting tomorrow immediately after school in room 2.30. New members are always welcome. The Small Business Club will be having an important meeting tomorrow. Please see Google Classroom for more details. If you're selling chocolate for the Spanish Club, please return the money and any unsold chocolate to Senora Calamano in room 261 by tomorrow. Were you not able to sign up for field day because of all the slots that were filled? Well, this is your last chance. If you are a senior or junior and would like to volunteer for field day, please pick up your forms and sign up with Ms. Torok. You'll be able to get your permission and driving forms back by Monday, so please sign up if you're not committed to helping out with this event. Any questions, see Ms. Torok and remember to show your pride for your elementary school. The Community Service Club will be collecting extra lunches tomorrow in the, in the bin by the main entrance. Each lunch should have a sandwich, water, fruit, and a snack. Please consider helping out. The Book Club will be meeting tomorrow after school in the library. The Westfield College Men's Club is once again offering $20,000 scholarships to young Westfield men heading off to college. Seniors interested, please, please apply. You can find full details and begin the application process on their website. Go to www.cmcwestfield.org. The deadline for submitting on the application is May 15th. The Key Club is collecting items to support Dress for Success, an organization that empowers women to achieve economic independence. They are collecting items such as home office supplies, business items, and gift cards. You can find the full list of items posted on flyers throughout the school. Items will be collected until May 13th. The Westfield Police Department will be having the Youth Academy this summer. This is a great opportunity to see many different presentations from different first responder organizations as well as physically trained Westfield Police officers. Applications are being accepted now and are due by Friday. See SRR Colello to pick up an application today. We now go to sports with the Mandalorian. Good morning WHS. I'm Michael Cerotti and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday was a big day for the Blue Devils, as the boys lacrosse team got a big 9-5 win over Wall, as Cody Lamb and James Haley each had a hat-trick, and Danny Hazard won 14 out of his 17 face-offs taken. The boys volleyball team beat Wachung Hills 2-0, and the boys tennis team beat New Providence 5-0. The baseball team dominated Union 12-2, as Owen Callahan led the way with two hits and three RBIs. The boys golf team also won yesterday beating Scotch Plains 152 to 165, led by Barnes Blake finishing first overall. The softball team used a seven run fifth inning and Kalea Callagay's home run and five RBIs to dominate Summit 12 to two. They will be back today at four o'clock at Bridgewater. At 415, the boys tennis team will host Governor Livingston. And at 730, the girls lacrosse team heads to ALJ to face Oak Knoll in the Union County Tournament semifinals. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Pat and Leo. Thank you, Michael, and that's all we have for today. If you would like to submit an announcement to Red, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. May the 4th be with you, WHS.